I've had a few people asking me about the scale bars and trying to estimate scale bars on image. So I thought I'd go through some of the images that we saw uh, in the workshop to give you an idea of how to estimate the scale bar from an image. So I think the thing that you need to know before you look at the images is to have a reference. So you can estimate how big you think something is, well, you need to have something to compare it to, okay? So a eukaryotic cell, um, so there's my eukaryotic cell, there's the nucleus with the nucleolus. A eukaryotic cell is usually between 20 to 40 micrometers across, okay, so 20, 30, 40 micrometers. Uh, and you'd usually expect the nucleus to be about 10 micrometers. Um, if you remember, uh, one micrometer equals one thousandth of a millimeter. Um, so a eukaryotic cell, you'd be talking roughly 20 to 40 micrometers. For a bacterial cell, uh, so if we've got a rod-shaped cell like that, uh, then that would be, uh, I'll do it under there, that would be about 2 micrometres and that would be about 0.5 micrometres. Okay, so bacterial cells are roughly uh, a tenth of the size of a eukaryote, uh, but that size is quite useful for you as well uh, because in our eukaryotic cell we of course have mitochondria, And because uh, we know from endosymbiotic theory that the mitochondria were originally bacteria, they've actually stayed at roughly the same sort of size. So a mitochondria is also about 2 micrometres by 0.5 micrometres. So if you know that a bacterium is about 2 micrometres across, that's the same size as a mitochondria, that can be quite useful. Um, I'll just put the nucleus again is... Uh, the nucleus is 10 micrometres across, roughly. Uh, as well as you can't see that very well. So if you know your references, then that helps you with your images. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. So uh, this image here. Uh, well, uh, this, is, uh, this is a picture of some E. coli. So absolutely classic bacterial cell division. We've got these rod-shaped cells, and then you can see this sort of division point there. Um, so this is E. coli, which is a bacterium, okay? So we know it's an E. coli, so we know that each cell um, should be about 2 micrometres across, okay? So that distance there should be about 2 micrometres. So if I then look at my scale bar, um, so that distance is... If I look at my scale bar, well, my scale bar is roughly the same size as a cell. So the best estimate for that scale bar, I think, would be about two micrometers. OK, so it's roughly the same size as an E. coli cell. Therefore, two micrometers would be a, a good guess. OK, so let's have a look down here. So this is clearly a eukaryotic cell. Um, so this uh, structure in here... That's the nucleus, uh, that is the nucleolus, and then we've got um, organelles around the outside of here. So uh, here we have um, all of those, I think, are mitochondria. Okay. Um, Sometimes on, so if you look at a TEM image, sometimes your mitochondria will look like this. So they'll like be like sausage shaped, okay? At which point we know that's about two micrometers across, okay? Sometimes they appear as small circles. What's happened if it's a small circle is um, the, the sectioning, so the slicing of the cells happened in the other direction. So, um, so if we have, there's our mitochondria, okay? What that is, is, is imagine if you slice through the mitochondria that way. If you took, um, if you put that on end, that would give you a circle through your mitochondria. So your mitochondria are going to be about two micrometers long, sort of anything between one 
to 0.5 micrometers across. So now I know what I'm looking at on my image. Um, I know that the nucleus is going to be roughly 10 micrometers across. So that's looking about half the size of the nucleus. So I'd say that was about five micrometers. Okay, so you need to work out what you're looking at, identify the features and then use that to work out the scale bar. So let's have another look over here. So obviously this is another TEM image. Uh, we've clearly got the Golgi in there. Okay, and effectively this is a zoomed in version. So this is a mitochondrion. This here is also a mitochondrion. And as I say, they've been sliced in that end way, so they're kind of circular. You can tell they're a mitochondrion because they've got a double membrane and they've got these kind of um, bits of membrane sticking into the middle of them. Um, so those are, those sort of folds are very characteristic. So here, my mitochondria, um, the scale bar's about the same width as a mitochondria. I know that a mitochondria is about, uh, is between one, uh, is about a micron across. So one micrometer would be a sensible estimate for that scale image there. Okay, last one. Uh, so this is a plant root. So here we're actually looking at a much bigger structure. You, know, you can see a root under the naked eye. Um, and in this one, and this one's a little bit more tricky, uh, but we've got, if we look at this block in here, okay, we can see we've got individual cells. So each of these sorts of spaces is a cell under the image. So that's one, two, three, four, five cells in that space there. So a cell, uh, let's say it's about 20 microns across. The scale bar is roughly the same as five cells. So that's gonna be about 100 micrometers for our scale bar. There, so that's much more zoomed out. Uh, we can see much more of uh, of the whole thing. We're not looking at the internal detail. We're looking at a whole tissue. Okay, so uh, you need to start by working out. Well, what am I looking at? Okay. Um, so for these, you should have been able to spot what you were looking at anyway. Uh, if there was an image like this on the quiz, then I'll give you a bit of a hint. But it's what am I looking at? What do I know about my reference points? So how big is a eukaryotic cell? How big is the nucleus? How big is the mitochondria? How big is a bacterial cell? And from that, you should be able to work out roughly how big you think your scale bars are.